Hey everybody, Mimi Raffle Chips here, and we are, well, can't say we're back, but um, this is the new DLC that came out on the 30th for Mud Runners. It is the Old Timers DLC, and I figured we would give it a run. Anyways, this is the Chevy Napco um, old truck, and it looks pretty awesome. And so I guess let's check out the map because it did. It came uh, the DLC came with two maps or two vehicles and one map. Uh, the map's called Rocky Hills and it's supposed to be very large and it is very big looking. Um, but most of it is covered by waypoints. Ooh. I don't know if you guys are excited but I am. Uh, yes. Anyways, I need to figure out where we're going before I actually go or do anything. Uh, having some uh, actual real physical problems instead of in-game. My headset is being kind of shitty. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, this truck seems uh, pretty solid. I have it in all-wheel drive right now, which it's a truck. It has four-wheel drive. But uh, it looks the truck looks nice. It really does. I love older American vehicles like this. Uh, we don't. I don't think we have too many of them. Or I don't. Not too many. We only. We only have a few. I don't think we have enough American vehicles in the game. Um, but Mud Runners 2, which is supposed to, but from what I've read, it's come out. Or it's coming out uh, closer to the end of the year, and there's a lot of American vehicles in that. But that's not what we're talking about right now. The inside of this truck does have that old truck feel. It looks nice. I like it. Um, I don't know how many... Oh, I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Because I'm mowing down trees. But yes, this is a very... It, it looks nice. It seems to do okay. Um, obviously, I haven't driven it enough to actually know. Because this is the first time I've driven it. And this is the first time I've been on this map, so I guess don't expect any greatness. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems like it goes through everything pretty well. Um, it, I'm sure if you are pulling a trailer or something, or trying to pull a trailer, uh, this wouldn't go so great. Uh, I would like to see a... I'm hoping that there's a garage on this map that I can check out the customization options for this truck. Uh, where am I? I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, hopefully gonna find some waypoints, but for now I'm just going to trudge my way through this swamp and see what I can find. Obviously, uh, water and swampiness uh, really bogs it down, which that's expected out of every vehicle. So I won't really count that against it. Uh, it's, I mean, look at this. The truck is awesome. Look at the map. The map, everything looks amazing. They did a great job putting this DLC together. Um, if you're wondering, it is free. All you have to do is own the Mud Runners game, and you can download this for free whenever you want. Now that it's after the 30th. Well, it's after the 30th when you guys are watching it. I downloaded it and played it on the 30th to make this video for you. Um, let's see if, how well we can climb a hill. This isn't a very steep hill, though. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. The watch... Yeah, there it is. thought the watch point was up here somewhere. It's right there. Um, let me turn the diff lock off. Ooh. I don't know what I just hit, but it did damage. Whoa! We're getting crazy. The diff lock off again. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those maps, at least from, you know, the couple minutes we've been here so far, where it's just going to be on, off, on, off with the diff lock over and over and over again. But that's okay. I don't necessarily have too much of a problem with that because it's just a simple button click. We did decent on that hill climb, not anything crazy. We managed to go up it and, uh, one high. That's what we're going to call it. 
Anyways, here's the first waypoint, watch point, not waypoint. Get stuck on a tree like a dummy. But anyways, this is the first watch point. Uh, see what we get to see. Uh, a lack of roads is what I'm seeing. So, I... Hopefully there's more roads than just the couple. <laughs> uh, I see two. I see two roads so far. Neither of them connect to each other. But I put a waypoint down. Trees. There we go. Put a waypoint down. So that way... I know where I should be going. Kind of a general... Navigation point. Well... It's a suggested navigation point. How I'm going to get there, I don't know yet. I guess we'll figure it out as we drive. Got some damage here. Oop. Anyways, um, yes. Look, I'm not even to the top of the hill, and this already looks awesome. Got the sun shining down on everything. Yeah. Look at this view. Got a nice classic truck here. I think this truck was made in... The Chevy Napco was like the... 50s, maybe? The 40s? Not 100% sure on dates. If you guys actually know the date these were produced, please drop that in the comments below, because I would like to get educated. Uh, this hill kind of is a little scary. Don't hit the tree! Okay, we, we gently, we gently tap the tree. Kind of like you guys should gently tap the like button if you would like to see more of this video. Really advertising for myself there. Um, this truck cruises right along, really. Uh, I know if I had one of these in real life, I wouldn't be doing this with it. But if you think about the time frame, like if we go back in time for this map, yes, uh, they probably beat the shit out of these trucks and used them as work trucks. But look at that. That's a good looking lake. It always amazes me every time I play this that everything just looks so good. Hopefully I'm not the only person that thinks that. We're gonna drop a waypoint over there to grab, to hopefully make it to the next, uh, watch, watch tower. Words. Not doing so great today. Hey, look, I can already see it in the distance. We just have to go over all of those rocky dips and ravine, mini ravines, because ravines are big. Boo. Nose down into the rock. That was good. Bouncing around here. Little little craziness. And I'm stuck on a tree. Had issues with trees before. If you guys remember any of my other videos. Trees, especially in this game, are like mortal enemy. Worst thing that ever happens to me is trees. Even in real life, trees cause me problems. But, yep, that's, that's my mortal enemy this game in real life, trees. But anyways, that sounds kind of dumb. So, we're going to grab this watch point and then uh, diff lock on and off, just like I said. Grab this watch point and then we will be able to open up the map and maybe we'll see more roads. Uh, I'm really beating this truck to death when we just started the video. Huh. Hooray, navigation map reveal. What do I get to see? Um, there's a lumber mill. And a utility semi-trailer. The fuel station with the watch point. We're going to go that way. Probably hit up the fuel station and see if there is anything. Well, I don't even know if this thing holds fuel in it. It does. And I don't have much. So that's cool because I'm not totally out of gas yet. But when you're burning, I saw that... I saw that jump up to 5 liters a minute. Um, I know for bigger trucks that have like 600 liters in their gas tank, or even 300 liters in the gas tank, it's not so bad. But when you have 80, oh no, okay, we're good, solid, didn't flip or die. Dude, just truck beat down. Might have to use... Uh, Maybe we will come back and really explore this map with both this truck and the H1 and see who the real tough truck is between old and new. Oh, I thought that was going to be a worse cliff than it actually was. This looks like part of a road. It is part of a road. 
but it's not much of a road because I don't see it continuing. So, I put this into one plus and just hammer down through this big open field looking thing. Yeah. I don't know, I like the inside view sometimes, like cruising through big open fields and stuff like that. And hill climbs, hill climbs from first person perspective are pretty crazy. Uh, there's the gas station and I can see the watch point area is right there. And oh, trees everywhere. Avoid the trees. Because if we total our vehicle out now, we're going to have a really bad time. Eh. I have to... What a pain in the ass. Drive closer to the watch point. How about you? Stop it. Navigation point revealed. Um, I'm stuck on a tree, but not for long. Quench power. Release. I'm going to get out here to the pavement. Probably put some fuel in my truck. And then I will check the map and see what all we get to look at. Stop. Fill it up. Yes. Oh, it looks like we unlocked another Chevy Napco down there. Um, two scout trailers? I don't know what those are, but they sound cool, and if, I'm hoping if they're by the Napco over there, they're actually something the Napco can use. I hate using automatic. It is... Their gear shifts are so... Yeah, those are just little baby trailers. Beep, beep. Come on. Beep, beep. Ah, let's drive over your cord. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jerk. That one looks like it has a hood scoop on it. But I think that's only because it's been smashed. Um... Dude, this map is ridiculous already. There's no road, just big hills. But maybe that's what this truck excels at, is just huge hills and hill climbs. I'm gonna have to try that out. Um, I think the best thing to do is going to be to grab this scout... What is a loaded log trailer? I don't know, but I'm probably gonna go check it out because I have a feeling that is for the semi. Right up there, that's the new semi with the gate, or with this map. It is the GMC DW9... 50? I'll find out when I go over there by it. Go over and grab that watch point, and then we will continue based off of what I see from there. But, I'm going to back up to this trailer, and I'm going to attach it. Attach. Yes. Little trailer. What does it hold? It holds 200 repair points, which... Hmm think if it's a scout trailer it would have fuel capacity too but it does not see I hate putting it automatic because even if you're already moving at a decent speed it automatically just throws it in first gear and slows you way down and then it goes through the gears very very quickly until you hit mud or slow down yeah this doesn't have any fuel capacity with a bummer but yeah, I hate the automatic gear setting. They need to, the devs need to change the gearing ratios or something, I guess. Because it never really works that well. Look at this road. I have a feeling this road does not go very far. And even if it does, uh, to grab watch points, we will have to leave the road again. But there's the, it says the loaded log trailer up here. It's so small. Why? Why is it so small? Hmm. It looks like... It's it's literally logs stacked on top of the scout trailer. Hmm. Oops. I think I'm gonna grab that. Uh... I'm gonna grab that. Get this done and over with. Take it to a log point, or just... Yeah. Probably grab a waypoint with it. And then attach the trailer. 
probably carry it around and grab some waypoints because I can't. It can't be too much heavier than the scout trailer. Hopefully. <laughs> But with logs that size on there, I'm sure this trailer actually does probably weigh quite a bit. Doing a little bit of bud, mud bogging through the cattails here. I wonder if these are the factory rims on this truck. I don't know, I've, I've never seen one of these trucks in real life, so... Um, I don't know what the rims look like. They might be the real rims. If they are, that'd be cool. If not, I'd... I'd don't care that much. <laughs> Inside. Um, this is not... Oh, I mean, we're moving. We're just not moving well. I think I'm wrong. We're actually moving at a pretty good pace through the swamp. I'm a liar. 180... Meters. I don't know how many feet that is, but there's 180 meters till my next destination. It's really swampy down here. Oh, I was here, I think. I think I was over on the other side of the rock in the distance. Because I think that's the hill I climbed up to go get the waypoint. Watch point. Watch point. That's what they're called. Yes, I was over there. Which means I'm getting to familiar territory. Which is good. I like familiar because I know what to expect. Like that, I wasn't expecting a dip right there. And I should have been paying attention, but I was not. At least driving through the water like this, it washes the truck off. Get a nice, clean, shiny truck for the rest of till I get it muddy. Yeah, because there's those... Yeah, that's the rock I was on. Right there, that rock. Kind of. I was like between that rock and the other rock right there. And there are those trees that I thought were power lines for a brief moment. At least I think they're... Yeah, those are definitely trees. Those aren't power lines, you dummy. Those are trees. My mortal enemy. I bet those trees can get run over. Probably not with this. But I bet another truck, a bigger truck, can run them over. Like the semi. But the semi in this game is intended for road use only. Which seems like a bad idea for this map. What is going on? I am stuck. Well, not stuck. I was still moving. Uh, see? See? Tree. It's trying to prevent me from doing what I want. You're a dick. Anyways, yes, I've been here. As you can see, there are tracks, like, kind of, kind of tracks. They're track enough. But here's a road. And this road is that road. This road is that road that roads around on all the road stuff. No, dumb. This is the road that I was like, I'm going to go to the left. And then I went to the left. And now there's... What is happening? Go. Go fast. I like the winch. I like how the the water gets up on the windshield. And it almost looks like it kind of curves down the left side of the windshield. Yeah, that was because I was a one plus throwing water everywhere like a dummy. Yeah, this road is familiar. I've been here. This is the road that we use to get out here and get the first waypoint, watch point. Don't worry, baby. Daddy's coming back for you eventually. That is the GMC DW9 something, possibly 950. Um, that's our spawn point. That's where we came into the game at. Um, what? When you first select this map, it wants you to spawn in with the Chevy Napco and the Ford F-150 from the American Wilds DLC. I don't know why it wants us to spawn in like that, but. I traded the F-150 out to the GMC because I wanted to, so that way I know exactly where one is all the time if I need one. And some of you might not like that, but that's what I did. 
because I'm an adult and I do what I want. Unless you guys don't like it and then I might not do it again. Whoa, we're getting crazy. Tokyo Drift for a brief moment, probably about a second. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to time. Way, or, well, yeah, that's a waypoint. The other ones are watch points because I am not smart sometimes. Anyways, I don't want to go in the water. Don't. No! You are an asshole. That's what I think about you. Anyways, I guess... Uh, anyways, 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 anyways. Anyways, anyways. Except for the GMC DW950, I was right. And this truck is damaged, and I don't know why. Turn the parking brake off. This truck has six wheels, and only four of them have power going to them. It is not all-wheel drive. It is. It even says in the vehicle selector before you pick your map. Well, it's when you pick your map, not before. But when you pick your map, this truck is not suitable for off-road use. Because there's no all-wheel drive, but it does have diff lock to try to make your life a little bit easier. Um, for I'm not sure if it always spawns like this, but it spawned with a fuel tank on it, and the fuel tank is in Russian, which I thought was weird. Well, which I think is weird. Thought is the wrong word. Think. I think it's weird that this spawns with a Russian fuel tank on it, considering this DLC takes place in America. Unless we are Russian immigrants, which is okay with me, because Russian people are kind of cool. They're also very scary. My license plate is XR521. Not sure if that means anything. Probably doesn't. Look at all that black smoke. Hooray! Polluting the environment. Burning fossil fuels. I think that's why we were... Well, we were designed... Oh, why, why Earth let us come out. I wanted to get rid of some of the fossil fuels. God, that was stupid. <laughs> Guys, that might be the dumbest thing I've said all day. The dumbest thing I've said all day. And I went to work today. Which means I probably said really dumb things there too. But it was not that dumb. Hopefully. I'm here now though. So I can flip this back up right. Or not. Come on, you can do it. Bump it down into one low. One, 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 no, phone. Dude, every time I pick up a video game, my phone, I like the cab of this truck. It's very nice. It has the rounded corner windows, which make it look super awesome. It makes it look like an old school spaceship. But that's how trucks did, or that's how they did things back in the day. For some kind of engineering reason, they were like, hey, let's get rid of blind spots by making weird corner windows. And for some reason, in cars nowadays, they don't do that anymore, and they should. Because if my station wagon... Yeah, I drive a station wagon. If my station wagon had rounded corner windows, I would be super happy, but it doesn't... Because Subaru didn't design it that way. There's a loaded log cart over there. But what I'm more important, or what I'm more focused on, is... The waypoint. Watch point. Uh, yeah. It's over here, somewhere. It's 216 meters away from where I am at right now. If that's any importance to anybody. This is a nice truck. If I owned one of these, I would not be beating it to death out in the wild. It would be in my garage. Safe and happy. And never seeing sunlight or being driven unless it's a special day. Like ice cream day. That's a special day. Or pizza day. Basically every day is a special day. I would drive it a lot. I'm a liar. I would drive this every day. Except to work. I wouldn't drive this to work. Because that's how things break. This isn't going well. slow going for sure and that is a mountain and 
I have a feeling our watch point is up on top of that mountain. I think I can climb a vertical wall if I use my winch. But I think I can. I'm gonna do it. Because this proves at least one of us is wrong. And it's probably me. This isn't working, so... Oh, well, I haven't attached the winch yet. There's probably a tree up there I can grab. Oh, yes. Grab it. Yeah. Uh, I can do it. It's happening. Well, this isn't totally vertical, but it's pretty close. This might be, what, like 75, 80 degree angle? Come on. Get closer to the tree. You can do it. There you go. Now, if I release it... Yes. <laughs> ah, I fell all the way back down. Grab another one. I don't like that one. It wasn't the one that I wanted. I want the farther away one. Oh, how much time am I going to waste doing this? Probably at least the next two minutes. I'm not actually sure that was just kind of a random time frame. Um, I'm thinking... I think there's another tree up there that I could potentially grab. Maybe. Might be too far away. I don't know. This is dumb. And I have a feeling that once I release this, I'm either going to roll down the hill or I'm going to get stuck up here because I think I'm wedged between two trees. <laughs> yes. I kind of am. Hmm. Oh, well, there is a tree up there. I just don't know if I can reach it. Oh, it's so close. But I can't get it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna... Ooh. The I'm just gonna is probably gonna be the reason I fall off the cliff and die. No, that's that stupid tree. I wanna get a better tree. Come on. I just need to go down. A little... Uh, too far. I think I'm s stuck. Realistically. I don't know how I'm going to get down from here. <laughs> this is a bad idea. And I'm not sure how much time I just wasted doing this, but I believe it was enough. That was dumb. That was super dumb. I apologize, guys, for going, hey, I'm going to showcase this new DLC for Mudrunners. It's called The Old Timers, and then um, trying to drive up the cliff. Okay, now let us continue with our journey, because I don't know how to get that watch point. Tree. That other tree snapped back into place really fast. Die. <laughs> I don't like that tree. I know if you hook your wench to these dead trees, they fall down, and they don't help you at all. They're very unhelpful trees. Don't hit the trees. Don't fall in the water. That water is much deeper than I anticipated it to be. I'm still falling in the water. My tires came up off the ground on that one. I could have had a bad time. The truck would be swimming in the drink. I don't even know how I'm going to get back across this, because that water is deep. And this truck is not designed for deep water. Uh, there's an island. Hmm. So I don't think I can go this way anymore. Yeah. I think I'm going to not go this way. I don't think I need my winch either. I can just back this up. Jackknife the trailer. Almost roll the truck. I'm okay with this. Everything I've done to this point, besides trying to climb a 80 degree wall, has been okay. Let's 
truck is not like in the water. At least it's a lake instead of a river that's gonna sweep me away. I don't know how to go up there. I think I'm gonna have to go. Or, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do some backtracking. I'm gonna go up from the back because the front is big. Water. I mean, I have driven 3,800 some odd meters. Wouldn't it be cool if they showed mileage for us people that are not strict? Because I don't know how long a meter really is. And I'm 26. That sounds weird. I need to figure out how long a meter, how big a meter is. How many feet are in a meter? I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Because this game is mostly in metric, it makes me feel really dumb sometimes. So are a lot of other games. I don't like the dark. It makes it hard to show you guys how cool everything looks. And the headlights kind of suck. Alright, so the waypoint's right there. I want to get rid of that. Get rid of that. No. 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 Yes. Okay. Watch points up here. And that will reveal more of the map, so I can see what I'm going to do. It's only like 100 meters away. That's good. There's a power line, and I see a black square. This which means a truck the windows don't re render in very well. And it's another G GMC BW950 with a trailer. It almost seems like it would be a garage right here. That would fucking keep it up. Anyways, it seems like there would be um, a garage right here. But there's not. So... Oh no, I'm gonna have to make another video about this game showing what the new trucks can do. Oh no, what a sad time. Two loaded log carts. Awesome. I can vaguely hear my dog licking his leg and I don't like it. But we're gonna go on a little excursion here. Because I want to grab as many watch points as possible. Did you hear it? I almost said wait points. Anyways, I need to grab watch points so I can see what I'm working with on this map. So far, this map is very pretty. It's very good. Excuse me, sir. I am busy. Stop it. But really, though, please stop. I have a Malamute. He's very loud. He doesn't like it when I'm not paying. But, let's do <sighs> That's what I get for petting my dog. Crash into trees like a dumb shit. Like some kind of dumb guy. There's a lot of trees here, and this is probably not... <laughs> That was really dumb. Okay, let's see if we can do any better than just smashing into trees. All time. Just religiously breaking my truck on trees. And every, every video, every time I make a video about this game, I total my truck out with a tree. 
why. I've never hit a tree in real life. What makes me think I can... Well, that's probably why. Right there. Figured it out. Solved the Matrix. It's the biggest conspiracy ever. In video games, people hit trees that don't hit trees in real life. Conspiracies. That's what it is right there. That's my conspiracy theory. People who hit trees in video games don't hit trees in real life. Kind of like how in video games, people kill people. But in real life, they don't. That's what it comes down to. Video games are escape from real life. Think about that. This is a great way to showcase something. Hey, let's drive through trees. I can't see anything. You're making me look like a dumb person. I almost said a bad word there. That's probably why. People don't like my videos because I don't have a personality. So. But anyways, anyways, I'm gonna make a compilation of how many times I can say anyways in one video. Start numbering them. But here's the watch point. Hooray! We're here. We did it. We made it. What will this tell me about my map? That there's a lot of trees in this game. Whoa. Okay. That was not very helpful. Way to sound like you don't speak English. This was a not very helpful. And now I sound like a racist. But I'm not. Okay, there's a road over here. It leads to the lumber mill, but I don't know how to get over there. Besides going back and doing a lot of backtracking. Huh. That might be how I'm going to have to do this. I also will probably need gas. Because I'm not prepared. Hmm. Yes. By the way, guys, you can't see it, but I'm touching what little bit of a beard that I have. Okay. Yep. This seems a, it's a pretty positive way to do this. I'm gonna... Oh, there's a loaded log cart right there. I'm gonna connect back up here to my... GMC that's not supposed to be in the mud and then I'm gonna go over here to that little road fragment and then I'm gonna go to that road fragment and then it's just about to be a cross-country trip up a mountain to the log place I don't know what I'm doing this probably isn't gonna work and I'm gonna get stuck or roll and not be able to get my semi there. But I did. It is recallable. And I think I did unlock the other Chevy Napco. Which wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. There's a road right there. Bloop. Boom. That's where I need to go. To this road. And then right there. And then there's a lumber mill. And a utility semi trailer there. Oop. Stop. I'm pushing buttons that I don't need to push. Okay, turn around. Take the diff lock off because it's not very helpful. Whoa, we're getting bouncy crazy. Crazy bouncy. Either way, that is... No. I almost hit the tree again. You know what? Full speed ahead, can I hit the trees? No, because I am an expert. I am a great driver everywhere, all the time. Uh, okay, we're good. Engine is stalling, but I didn't flip it, so we're in a good place. I can, I can agree with that. Good, good place. They, realistically, though, we're going to get real for a second. This game looks very nice. I like the way that they put everything together. The visuals are very nice and easy looking. Um, I don't really care to drive through forests like this. Because, obviously, you can't see anything besides, you know, trees. But everything does seem to look very nice. And I should probably stop putting it one plus, so I can actually 
get out of here. My trailer looks like it's freaking out. Ooh, it's got a little bit of trailer air there. Hey, we're back to the square thing where that other truck is. What a winner. I need to turn here. I'm trying to flip everything over. Turn the dip lock on. You know, now that I've put almost 5,000 meters on this truck, I don't know if I like it very much. It seems to have a lot of problems, and I think most of them are because of the trailer. So I guess it's not that I don't like the truck, it's that I don't like the truck with, tra with a heavy trailer on it. If it didn't have a heavy trailer, it might actually work better. But it does, because I was like, I'm going to go adventuring with a heavy bucket trailer on my truck. I tried to climb that mountain because I can see the waypoint up there, and that looks fucking awesome. Good job, Cloud Runners dev team. This game looks great. Bet if you panned out far enough, it'd be like watching a semi-animated movie. Well, I'm not sure what semi-animated means. It would just be like watching a really good animated movie with very good animated graphics. Yeah, that didn't really make any sense. Hey look, there's my truck that helped flip over my other truck. Yup. <laughs> oh, commentary. Oh no. Okay, we're good. I did it. 15 damage. Not so great. Now we're in the red damage, and our truck's gonna be a big piece of crap. Okay, I got some driving to do. I need to go to the left. Thread the field to the trees. Those trees are substantially better than I thought they were. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. But at least right now, because it's just barely into the red not really affecting performance besides for getting horrible gas mileage. And the horrible gas mileage is bad when your fuel tank is not big. Hill climb. You know, on roads, this thing actually, like, relatively solid roads that aren't nothing but mud. Sorry if you heard me itch my nose. I didn't pick my nose. I itched it. The top of it by where my glasses are. It was itchy. Anyways, what I was talking about. Um, what was it? Oh, right. Uh, on, <laughs> on flat... On, dude. On flat, solid ground. Ah, it's almost bad. On flat, solid ground. This truck actually seems to be go pretty fast. It's up the hill. But this... There's no grip right here, and I can't, for some reason, get my trailer up. Here we go. Ta-da! We did it. And I still have a lot of ground to cover, and not enough fuel. Fuel's in the red. Damage's in the red. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. I think this thing's front wheel drive, which is, I think, I, I'm going to have to look that up, because I don't think the Chevy Navco is front wheel drive, because, you know, trucks aren't front wheel drive. But, you know, I might be wrong. I don't know anything about the Chevy Navco besides it kind of looks really cool, because it's an old truck. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, yeah, that's... Why is this front wheel drive? Here we go. That was all the gas in the truck. Yeah, I don't know why this is front wheel drive. I'll look that up for you guys and talk about it eventually. Ugh, get crazy bouncy. No, stop playing. I'm working. Stop. Sorry about my dog. He's loud, and he wants me to play with him. But I can't, because I'm playing with you guys. You guys are more important than my dog, apparently. Don't quote me for saying that, because I like my dog. 
He's really loud. This is not going well. Well, it's going better than it could have been. It could have been going a lot better, but it also could have been much worse. Could have been. But it might not be. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think this actually could potentially be one of my longest videos I've ever made. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to include. Stop. Include in the uh, video I upload. So you guys might get a really long video, or you guys might get a really short video. But potentially it'll be a really long video because this is a lot of recording. And there's a lot of stuff to cover and I talked about a lot of things that are semi-important. What is happening? Why can't... Dog. Game. Everything's stopping. This is not going so well. Dog's hurting me with his feet. Truck's hurting my feelings by continuously driving into a tree. But I think I hurt the truck's feelings because it's mostly dead. We don't have much farther to go. You can do it. I have faith. I have faith in a mechanically destroyed old truck pulling a heavy trailer. St Ouch. Stop. Maybe I'll make a video for you guys with my dog. I don't know yet. He's kind of mean and he hurts me all the time with his feet. This isn't going well. I'm sad. Because our truck is dying and it's <laughs> very loud and poppy. It really it realistically does sound like this. It's a wow. It's gonna ex not make it. It's gonna explode, and then I'm gonna be dead on the side of a mountain cliff. I don't know what a mountain cliff is, but that's where I'm gonna be dead. It's on a mountain cliff. <sighs> oh, just get out and start pulling the trailer with my guy. That's what real men do. They pull the trailers down the road with their bodies. They don't need no truck. They don't need a semi. Semis are just a bunch of people all working. Dude, why am I saying some dumb things today? Just ignore that. That was really dumb. But anyways, um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to drive this truck before I'm done with it, which I think I'm going to be done with it right up here because I've been recording for a while and this truck is very broken. See what I mean? Installing all the time. Super broken. So I'm probably not going to continue this for too much longer before I switch to a different truck to save this one. But well, uh, really, I just need to save the logs. I'm not sure about the truck. But, anyways, it's taking forever. Yeah. You know what? I. I don't want to do this. This truck's broken. Well, I mean, this is my punishment for breaking it. Go. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna make it to the top of this little hill right here, and then I probably am not gonna drive this anymore, and I'm gonna call it quits for right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably call it quits here because this sucks. Maybe I'll get a better view. Get a better view for you guys so we can display this delightful truck. There we go. Stopping it. Good view. Put the parking brake on. Look out over across this beautiful lake with my broken truck. Lights still work. And there's birds. I scared them with my beeps. But, anyways. If you guys like this video and would like to see more of the Old Timers DLC, 
let me know down in the comments below and by dropping a like on my video if you guys like my horrible ramblings and the dumb things I had to say. Make sure to quote me in the comments and I will like it forever. Um, I think that's all I had to say, really. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take it easy. Stop it. <laughs>